know than you. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh. I thought that was like the worst bit of the room. What? What's up, you guys? Welcome to another video. Today, we are going to be renovating not one of my builds, but one of James's builds. I thought it'd be interesting to look at his first ever Sims 4 build. And I believe he actually built this before The Sims 4 came out. I think he might have got to play it early at a Sims camp, something like that. So this might have been right before the game came out that he actually built this, so very early days. And we are gonna renovate it, and then I'm gonna ask him to come in and we can show him what we did. So this is it, you guys. Buy The Sim Supply, because his first name on the gallery was The Sim Supply, so that's what you go to if you wanna get his earliest builds. And then he changed to another profile, James Turner YT, I think. And this is the house, it's called Bleached. Is that because the house is like white and it's on a beachy looking, in a beachy looking area? It's had 9,000 downloads, 2014 with 84,000 simoleons, two bedroom, three bathroom, a small family home for two parents and a child. I'm actually really impressed if he did create this at Sims Camp. That he was actually able to then put this in the game and put it on the gallery. Okay, I'm just gonna put it over here in Willow Creek. I'm so excited to see this. Ah, oh, this is a good like first build. I'm not sure, did he figure out the roof trim? Oh yeah, yeah, he knew how to do roof trim. And it's always a lot more difficult building while you're away, if he was away at a Sims camp too. But, oh look, he used the awnings in the base game. And remember there was no pool. There were no ghosts. Oh, I like this little neat hedging at the front. I might do that sometime. And oh my gosh, there is zero terrain paint. How could he? I'm a big fan of terrain paint, so that does break my heart a little bit. But you know what? This is a very nice, good build. You know, it's kind of complex for your first build as well. Because even though he had played other Sims games, Sims 4 was still a bit different. Like build mode was different. To the Sims 3. Okay, whoa. It's like right bam in the middle. Okay, so no holes in the roof, I don't think. Oh, there is a hole in the roof. Aw. Now I don't feel as bad from my last video, I think it was, or two videos ago when I discovered I had so many holes in my builds. He's got a couple. Or oh, that could have been the game before it got patched. Lovely lounge room. Nice, a little office nook. I mean, it's very minimal. So Perhaps he didn't have a lot of time to work on this. And then here is the bathroom. Wow, good accessories. These are at an okay height on the wall. Mine were up so high. Oh, I've got a nice dining area with can You know, I never ever use these candles. And they're a bit of a base game classic. Nice paintings on the wall and a cute little kitchen. Kimchin. And then this must be a walkthrough bathroom, yeah. So you can enter the bathroom from both sides. When you go outside, nice barbecue table area. Backyard's pretty sparse. Knowing James, he definitely didn't have a lot of time to build this because he would have put more detail into it for sure. Oh yeah, see what I mean? But this is good, good floor plan. It's interesting the modern doors with more, a more of a traditional house though. Oh, I like this little bit, the window and the mirror on the side. Bay window. And you know what's going to be the best thing is that we're gonna have so many things to furnish this house with compared to what he had. Oh, it's a little kid's room. Oh, oh, look what he did with the paintings. They look so cute. All the pictures, they're not really paintings. Whoa, double doors to Z Master bedroom where they have their own lounge set up. And no, no bedside lamps. Interesting, interesting choice. And then another bathroom in here. Uh, and no mirror. So yeah, I think he ran out a bit of time here, but it's pretty dang good for a first ever build. So I just want to look at a couple more technical things. Okay, you figured that out. I want to look at the real guts of the house. Oh, he did properly roof it all. Oh my gosh. See, my first builds were just not, not good. All right, well, let's do a little bit of a renovation of this, shall we? Okay, so first up, for some reason, I just wanna lower these. Like, I don't know if anyone else would make that change, because I wanna keep it recognizable. So we should keep the general shape of it. Might be easier to actually just copy this over. And just give it, you know, a bit of a new paint, have fun with the packs that are now out in the game to give it a little makeover. Can change that roof trim to black and make it a bit more solid looking. 
And then, yeah, I think we'll change all of these. Maybe also give the balustrade a little change as well. I wonder if he knew how to do the spandrels or not. I absolutely love these pillars from Get Together. I almost would, actually no, I was gonna say I would almost save up for Get Together just to get these because I use them so much. But no, I think these combined with a few other things like the wardrobes in Get Together would make it worthwhile to save up for uh, if I didn't have it. Gonna lower those. And what kind of aesthetic do we wanna go for? Like, I'm a little bit confused with the aesthetic in here, actually. Like, I guess it's traditional, but then it's traditional modern. Like, it's a little bit contemporary. Maybe he didn't know what look he was going for. He was just building. I think this season's fence is really nice. And maybe we just go for a bit of a American looking home. Classic American. I mean, you Americans in the comments can tell me where, like, where this style comes from. I just know it as quote unquote American. I wouldn't mind a bit of contrast too. So let's put it to morning light. I love morning light. Like in real life, the light coming in during the mornings is my favorite. It just seems soft and fresh. Ooh, we could go rustic. Modern farmhouse, everyone. <laughs> I was reading in the comments, someone actually who is an American said there's just modern farmhouses everywhere. I'm so over modern farmhouses. I feel like it's not as big here. Like it's definitely around. Like there's a lot of the barn doors being done, that kind of thing. I don't think it's to the same extent maybe. This is my favorite cats and dogs vertical panels. <gasps> oh no, it is the morning light for a second. I thought it was the afternoon. I mean, not everything we're putting in here has to be not base game. Like this simple siding is a favorite of mine. What can I say? It's just simple siding. We love. Or maybe we could do brick instead. This is my favorite from City Living. I guess now we are looking <laughs> a little bit like a modern farmhouse, are we? Okay, I think I'll take away the brick. We'll do that for another build. All right, now in terms of windows, no, you know what? It does need brick. Maybe I just picked the wrong brick. It need it needs something different on this side of the house, I swear. I thought it was white panels, but I don't think it is. As much as these classic base game awnings are somewhat iconic, let's do something a little bit more contemporary in the game and do some of these. Actually, this might not work. <laughs> oh no, it sticks out the side, doesn't it? Hmm. We could do like a cross hatch pattern maybe. Like it might make it look kind of better. I think it works. Put some nice greenery up here. Make it look like it's grown up the side of the house. Well, not on the side of the house, on the pillar. You know what? It's the get famous brick that we need to use for this. That's what we need. The other one, just as much as I love it, it was just giving too much of a farm vibe. I mean, this could also go farm vibe direction, but I, I just feel like it works better. Okay, we need to give it some new windows. But I don't want to mess up the placement of them, so I'm literally going to do it window by window. Do we want to do parenthood windows? Like match it? Or, speaking of Get Famous, I do like some of the Get Famous windows. Like, I forget how nice they are. Modern window! Ooh, I do like the Charlie Pancakes windows. But for those of you on console, you might appreciate and a lot of people in the gallery. For such an original build, maybe we should stick to Max's for at least the exterior. I feel like I am getting ready for a CC build though. Like I can feel it coming back. I can feel it in me waters. No, I'm not pregnant. Oh, I like this window. We should use this. We could, I'm just gonna like put it there <laughs> for now. Don't worry, we'll fix it later. What about seasons? Seasons. Seasons windows. We can't really go wrong with those. We don't really go the orangey reddish wood very often. I have a theory this is really coming back in, that warm orangey wood tone. You heard it here first, folks. It's it's not right. It's not right for this build. I'm sorry. Can I go to the white trims? It will use it for another build, okay? Just, this isn't it. So why do I feel like these windows are kind of back to front? We need this one over here. Stranger fill door? 
maybe just like a trio of windows here, this kind of thing. We'll have to look at what it's like from the inside. But I quite like how we're going right now. She's looking great. Can we get a foundation to match though? I don't think there is actually one that perfectly matches these bricks. There definitely isn't. Well, we could do the orangey dark wood down the bottom of the house. That's quite nice. <gasps> I like it. It's turning into kind of a perfect family home. Can we get rid of the palm trees? I'm sorry, James, but, but I'm gonna make it look Willow Creek like. And I think James will like that. Like, I think he'll just be curious to see whatever we do. He's a good spot. I do like this fence, but it feels almost a little bit too formal for the house. I like this, but does that go with the house? I'm not sure. I feel like big brick fences like this. Realistically, they are so expensive to build. Like imagine laying this entire fence, but it's also the sim. So, you know, do we just do it anyway? Cause it looks nice. It's too much. I can't, I'm just gonna go the wooden fence. <laughs> I would absolutely be so sad if I had to paint this. Like imagine painting this entire fence. <gasps> it takes so long. We should take it in one notch just so it's not uneven at the front. Do you think this house should have a pool? I feel I feel as though it looks like it would have a pool. And just because James wasn't able to even have the choice of a pool back then, is even more reason why it needs a pool. It's so crazy to me that in some countries you can have pools without fences, because in Australia, that's really illegal. Like you have to have a pool fence. So it's wild to me when you see on TV shows, like no pool fence. I actually kind of want to lift the pool up. Like it have a little deck that it's on. I'm not sure if that's a bit strange next to the house. I, mean, I think it's okay because the house is already lifted up slightly. My favorite decking is the vampire's decking because it's diagonal. I don't know why I see diagonal floorboards and I think it's meant to be in the outdoors. <laughs> Maybe it should cut in like this. Sometimes I just draw walls to change the shape of platforms. I just think it's the easiest way. Okay, now this just looks really weird. Now I feel like this needs to be extended outwards and a pool be put in here because <laughs> it just looks bizarre by itself over there. Like a fighting octagon or square, a boxing ring. Is the pool too small? Or is it just like a cute, cute little pool area? Well, I think it's kind of cute that it's small. I mean, maybe it could come a little bit off the side. I feel like I've gotten really sidetracked with this build now. Like it's meant to be a simple renovation, but now we're, we're adding a lot more. We could flip the pool so it goes this way and that makes it a little bigger. And then it also means that we can have something here. Maybe that's, that's nicer. We need to do a little bit of quick landscaping. This was a tree from Cats and Dogs, which I think is so pretty because it's very autumnal. I think autumn's my favorite season. Actually, I like all seasons, but I like the warm start of autumn maybe the most. But spring is great because all the flowers come out and all the animals are celebrating and happy. That winter, winter is over. I wanna do like a little gardening area too. Do a little section here. That's cute, right? Don't worry, we will terrain paint. We could use the werewolves planters. Just, I feel like the werewolf, werewolf, werewolves planters are just a little more realistic because they're more rustic. Don't you guys think? I guess I prefer them to the base game. Okay, I've really done a poor job of this because it's just it's just not working with the existing grid. <laughs> okay, I fixed it. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. What have I done here? It would honestly be my dream to have a fully landscaped, professionally done and built vegetable patch. That would be so cool. Like built up with stone like all matching woods and stuff. I would love that. You know, maybe it's just best out in the open like this. And now we make it look realistic. Well, kind of with terrain paint. Do, 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 do. Terrain paint for days. I kid you not, you guys, I just saw this on the side of the house and I was thinking, wow, that's really cute that James has used this as a wall vent because I always use this in like the middle of pitched roofs as a decorative element of the house. And then I clicked on it and it's literally a wall vent. 
Please tell me I'm not the only one who did not realize that was meant to be a wall vent since 2014, had no idea. Please tell me I'm not the only one, please. I really like the fact that he has this color rock. I don't think I've ever used that color of rock. Just really like it. It's just changed me life. Okay, I might've got a little bit carried away with the landscaping. I don't know. I think it looks really pretty, but it's definitely way more than what used to be there. That's for sure. But it's looking very lush and gorgeous back here. For the interior, I think I will keep this flooring just because it's not really a flooring I usually use. And realistically, if this house was renovated, it's very likely you would keep the exact same flooring. Uh, we could try and paint the walls a different color. I really, really, really would love them to update the base game selection of colors we have with wallpapers because a lot of them are just really dated now. Like I always go back to the same dang gray one because there's like nothing else I really like. I might use, I know I said I wouldn't use that much custom content, but I feel like the Charlie Pancakes small collection is really good. Just really nice modern colors. I might also just knock down one wall here just to open up this space a little bit because it does feel a little claustrophobic for me. And I think we will also put some brighter lights in because it's very, very dark. Ah, these lights were such a beautiful addition to the game. I might put a pendant in over the dining table a bit later. I've put a couple of things aside that were in the original furnishing of the house downstairs that we can reuse just to, you know, give it that feeling that it truly has been renovated and there's a little bit of history that still remains. And then in the bathrooms and upstairs in the bedrooms, I've left things how they are. So we could maybe reuse those things too. We desperately need to change the railing on these stairs. That's much nicer, in my opinion. Whoa, these are so similar. That's more traditional looking. Let's just stick with this. So originally James had the TV over here, but I kind of like the idea of being here. Oh, but then we're blocking out the windows. So it does make sense. There was no tiny living when James built this house. Kind of creepy imagining that. Oh my gosh. Did you guys just hear my stomach? My stomach's going crazy because I ate, basically I'm PMSing hardcore and I turn into a food monster. So I eat everything. And I ate this chocolate bar and I kind of forgot I'm lactose intolerant. So then I got diarrhea and now my tummy's like, but it's been a little bit of an issue filming, I have to say. The toilet's just next door, so it's gonna be all right, folks. In terms of the furnishing, I like the house continuing to be kind of classic, but I'm tempted to do a little bit of contemporary with it too. I really don't like this TV situation. This seam line upsets me a lot. That's why I'm like so tempted to put the TV here. If we put curtains behind it, it's not as bad. Oh, we can use the new curtains. Yes. These are my new favorite things. This is seriously not working. What's upsetting me about these curtains is they're sitting like under the window frame. We're gonna have to use these ones. Cats and dogs it is. And you know what? Cats and dogs, those look good. Can't really go wrong, can you? Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Sorry, this is CC that I haven't checked out yet by Tuds. Oh my lord. Whoa. I do like the new desert pack couch. Like this looks like a real classic couch, but it has like a little bit of a modern twist. It's a shame we don't have a two seater, but of course it came with a kit. So there's not gonna, there's not gonna be as many options as like chairs that come in an expansion pack, for example, but they do have the little side chair, this one, but this is gonna, this doesn't really go with the theme of the house. Do what chair? Oh my gosh, that's a pretty like good color match. The only thing is the legs are different. That's not that noticeable though. The purple. I like the idea of purple. Honestly, I think this chair is the best color match. The legs are a little different, but we might have to turn to turn a blind eye to that. I won't tell anyone if you don't. Shh. I wonder if it's possible to shift this all over by one. Like, is that gonna look weird from the outside? I think it'll look okay. Oh, is that okay? I think I ruined it. Actually, you know what? I think it's fine. The windows were never in line and then there's a much better pathway to walk. So I think we we did good. 
What kind of light fixture would this house have? I feel something like this, like this. I think the bathrooms are pretty solid. I've just changed the tiles and the wallpaper. Might change the counters because they look a little dated. I don't even know if we have something I want to change them to though. Like I feel like none of these options are any good either. Maybe even just this base game option. Oh, I like these iceberg counters by Max. Actually, let's use those. So we'll just use the two custom content packs, which will be the small wallpaper, which I'll link below, and the counters, which we'll also use in the kitchen and the other bathrooms. So it's not too bad. The rest of the bathroom's good. For the kitchen, let's do the same max 20 counters that we've just used in the bathrooms. This is a massive kitchen and all the bedrooms are really big as well. I'm just not sure about this window here, as it does. I, I mean, I love the window, but I feel like it's just cutting into the counters. So I think we're gonna have to say bye-bye to that one. And do we still want a door here? Cause I added a door over this way. It actually would be really helpful to just nick out to the barbecue from the kitchen. So practically speaking, I feel as though we should keep that as an option. And then would we want to wrap it here and have stools this way, or we could have an island bench kind of facing the other way, which I actually think is nicer. Ooh, definitely with the end pieces. Actually, now that I've seen these really nice end pieces, I I want to show them off and I feel like they will probably be seen more this way. Look how nice that is. Oh, but the orientation of this room is just not letting it work. It's gonna have to go this way. You know, let's just move this in a tad actually. Cause this bathroom doesn't need to be that big, seeing as though it's the main bathroom. And then it will actually make a little cute nook section for the barbecue. And actually it could mean, oh, there's a toilet paper outside. <laughs> Match that to the toilet. And you can actually get out of this door. And then I also thought if we make this longer, then we can fit an island bench right here going into the dining room with the circular table. I feel like it's all coming together. Oh, I like these tiles in black. They're just from Parenthood. Stove top. Actually, we'll go this one with this oven. We'll do a sink here in the middle. A little tea unit. Because James likes tea, so I feel like he'll appreciate that. Oh, and a bin. I have to make sure I have everything. I think that's everything. The smoke alarm's just here. Classic stools. And that's a nice kitchen. A clock would be nice to have in the kitchen. And maybe some nice lights over this. We could, we could do two of these. Nice. Would you guys like this kitchen? This kimchin? We need a round rug here. This one's too boho. This one sized up could be good in a different color. Although the colors, oh, the, uh, maybe not. It's not ideal. I need more round rugs. Is this a rug or like a, oh, well, these are like spellcaster things. This table really deserves something beautiful in the middle that would pop. Like this, I think this comes in the same kitchen pack. Wait, what's the icon? Oh good, it does. Excellent. That is so nice. I like the purple. I'm into purple. Oh, and then we had a few other things over here that we can also put in the kitchen, like the wine rack, this little, wait, I think this is a coffee pot. I don't even know what that is. Ooh, and then we also have this coat hanger that we can put in the corner here. Shift over this light. Oh, and then we had these beautiful candles. Well, maybe we can put candles in the bathroom. Candles in the bathroom are nice. Hmm, maybe we will continue that into the kitchen. Beautiful. Should we put this like this? No, that's weird. That's weird. <laughs> Okay, that's gorgeous, you guys. It's very simple, but I think this house was always nice and simple. I did a little hallway work here and I made the kids' bathroom look super cute. And now we work on the kids' room. I feel as though this could have two kids in it now that we have bunk beds. Thank goodness. That was so exciting when we got bunk beds. I remember it like it was yesterday. Well, it really wasn't that long ago, was it? But I just don't know if we've got the nicest bed spreads for this one. I mean, we do have the bunk bed from the small pack, which we've already used. So maybe we just vibe with that. Still only using two CC packs, I might add. Oh, the hot air balloons are so sweet. Okay, we're just gonna do the full small. So I'll keep like the llama and the piggy bank. You know what, let's rip up the carpet in here. I really love this. All the colors are just so nice. And like the simple frames with animals in them. 
Oh, that's right. And there's this gorgeous rocking chair too. Unfortunately, the bottom bunk bed isn't really working. It's glitching out. So I'll just use the one bed in here. Well, that's kind of cute. This is really cute. That's really sweet. All right, I love that. And the curtains really make a massive difference. I think they work really well in the room too and they tie into this koala chair really nicely. Okie dokie, for the parentals room, I'm a little bit over the green actually. So maybe we should go for a nice relaxing blue. I love blue in bedrooms, like soft blues are mwah, beautiful. Again, I might get rid of the carpet in this bedroom. Because if we use rugs, we can kind of identify the separate halves of the room and make it look a little bit more balanced and less just like massive. What if we did something like, mm, yeah, something like this. Also, the more I'm looking at this room, why doesn't the bed go here away from the window? That would be more feng shui, I feel. Because they say you shouldn't put your bed under a window. Whoa, that's a massive painting. I feel like it's so fancy. We'll keep it. It's it's historic in this house. Yeah, I feel this makes more sense. And then the TV can kind of be angled towards the bed. And you know what? Let's rearrange this a little bit. So that can kind of here. This can go. Do we still want to keep this couch? Oh, they also don't have a dresser. <laughs> Well, you know what? I don't like TVs in bedrooms anyway. So I'm gonna get rid of that because that's just how I roll. And don't you worry, because you can put it back in if you want to. I was gonna say, now don't you speak back to me. I move this window. Oh no, that kind of ruins our whole thing down here, does it? Hold on, where did I move it to? I'd have to put it all the way over to here. Is this an issue? It can actually work if if we put maybe a sconce light over there. Nailed it. Wait, where did my wardrobe go? Did I accidentally delete that? I don't know. I feel like everyone's gonna get mad at me for deleting the TV, but you know what? You know what? Blue light from TV may disrupt your sim sleep. So I'm actually doing something really good for them, okay? Okay, you can thank me later when your Sims energy bar is full. That's right. Oh, that's cute. Okay, now we have this like no man's land. <laughs> okay, now I really don't like this rug. I liked the rug to begin with. Okay, I'm gonna go, I, I changed it up a little bit. I made it all a little bit more streamlined. And now I'm like, maybe I should put a TV here. <laughs> there will be no TVs. They can be these little chairs. They have polka dots. Ooh, what happens if we did like an L shape wardrobe over here? Is this kind of cool? And it makes better use of the space. I like it. We can have a bookshelf there. Oh yeah. Now I think that's a better use of the space, friends. That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna save because I'm scared we're gonna lose all of our work. And that would be a shame before James got to see it. Yeah, shuffle this across. I feel like we need a more old school bathtub. You know, it's not my style, but I feel like the Sims who live here, they'll like these mats. Maybe we'll, we'll do these two like fancy schmancy mirrors with a sconce in the middle. Okay, and this could be perceived as perfume bottles. Okay, well, I think that is the house nicely renovated. So we should show James and see what he thinks. All right, you guys, so James is gonna come and have a look at the house. Whoa! Let's go! Here he is, the man of the hour. Come in and please fix my rug. <laughs> There's no seat for me. I don't feel very welcomed. Oh, I'll get a chair. I have to squat. Oh, you should. Ah. Hey. <laughs> Snooze, you lose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> okay, now we're shorter together. Also, there's a good chance I might poop my pants oh. while we do this. My tummy's being crazy. Okay, so this is the original. Yep. Which you're familiar with. Which is perfect with. in every single way. I'm interested. I hope you didn't change it. Oh, we changed it. <laughs> and this. Oh, it's modern. Let's go. Well, it's not fully modern. It's got a little bit of a twist. And obviously this is much more elaborate. Also, I had... can I just say oh. there was no cheats back in the day, back in my day. That's what I was just saying. Mine's a lot more elaborate because we have cheats. I had time, mm. uh, all the packs, and I even used two CC packs too. There was no half walls back in the day or platforms or terrain or move objects. I mean, we didn't use terrain in this. I'm just saying, or there's platforms. a lot of things. Yeah. It wasn't even basements. 
Oh my god. Or there pools. Wasn't. I know. So. Well, hopefully you like this because your first one was very good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll direct you. Wait, can you jump, jump out of this for a second? I'll direct you to the top left. It's called Bleached, hence the color scheme. Oh, yeah, we figured so, that. And, you know, that's why. And because like of that. the palm trees, we wondered if you're trying to build a beach house. So it was like. I don't know. Wasn't it built in uh, Strangerville? Not Strangerville, the Oasis Springs. Oh, I thought it was Willow Creek. Oh, I don't, I don't that's know. That's why I was like, that's weird he put palm trees in. Because was it. I feel like I built it in the, the green area of uh, Oasis uh, Springs. Oh, that would make a lot more sense. Because I was like, it's strange you put palm trees <laughs> in. <laughs> oh. Um, so this is the front. Very nice garden. Lots of Thank plants. You. We kept your rocks, and we kept the general shape of the house. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to show you the back. What? See, I didn't have pools back in my day. Exactly. So that's why we thought it was nice to give the house a pool. And, uh, yeah, we even got some veggie planters Ooh. out here, too. We kept the old chairs. I, I mean, you're saying this like I know <laughs> what I did. I don't remember. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Very cool. Right, so coming into the front door. Oh. Now we've kept the house quite classic, mm -hmm. you know, nothing crazy. Mm. We didn't want you to get upset. We did use the new lounges from the desert. Ooh, yeah, park. I love those. Those are so good. Yeah. I didn't have that back in 2014, so. Bit of a sore spot. But mm. yeah, very <laughs> classic and simple. You did have a few holes in the roof. I didn't fix them. Yeah, well, that was back in the day, like, because all the room stuff was brand new, so mm. I was, again, literally first built, so I'm sure I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I knocked down the wall that was here. I so. do notice you didn't fix the holes in the roof, though. No, I didn't fix them. <laughs> <laughs> that's no, not my job. That's not for me. <laughs> I make it look pretty. Oh. Whoa. And we kept some of the same items that you used. Okay. So we kept. <laughs> I don't know what I use, so sure. We kept these candles because we know how much you like candles in the bathroom. Romantic, James. Then you come in here. Can zoom out a little bit. We're like really zoom it. There we go. That's better. It's nice. the dining room, and you'll probably remember that's the original cabinet yeah. that you had. We also didn't have circular tables like that back in base I game. Know. So I couldn't do that. Nope. And then this is the kimchin. And did you know those tiles of parenthood? Mm. They're quite nice. There's no range hood, but you left a gap for one. It's actually built. It's one of the built-in ones. No, but you could still see it. <laughs> no, no, it's like a built-in No, one. but it's not. Though. And if it was built-in, wouldn't the cabinet <laughs> be the same height? No. It needs room to air. Don't worry, I <laughs> <new> bunnies. <laughs> I okay. like that you kept the uh, hanging candle lights. No. I assume that was mine. No, they're new. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh. I thought that was like the worst bit of the room. Oh, that's so rude. It doesn't really go with any of the rest of the house. Yes, Why it is it does. so like gothic? It's not gothic, it's American. Oh, I thought that I was like saying it was bad because I thought I did it, but. No, <laughs> I chose that because I thought you would like it. Why would and I, I tried put that really in? hard. And I'm PMSing. <laughs> I mean, it was an interesting choice. I wouldn't have picked that, but I thought I did pick it, so. Aww. Unbelievable. Hmm. Okay, we also used. The same items, this coffee thing. Yeah, that's why I thought you used the same thing. lights. No, the lights are new. So the desk area here. Well, <laughs> now this is just awkward. <laughs> I don't know if you use those lights somewhere else. Um, I actually don't think so. <laughs> I believe you dissed my lights. I thought they were my lights. Then we've got the corridor. You didn't put anything up here, so we figured you must have run out of time or been a bit time I think, uh, To be honest, I think I remember not knowing what to put there. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we put a dollhouse and a couch. We sorted it out for yeah, you. Base game doesn't have a lot of options is the problem. Mm. Well, in here we've got cute bathroom. Mm -hmm. A lot of the same items. Yeah, those items are really good in there. Thank you. You're really <laughs> overcompensating now. <laughs> really good place. Wow, good color choices. Thank you, I know. So this is a good, uh, kid's bedroom. I thought that was really nice. That's cute. Yeah, I like that. Koala. Nice. It's different. The, it's unusual. It is different. It is unusual. Some nice uh, pictures on the wall. You actually put those there and the llama toy. Wow, I'm very smart. Mm-hmm. And then here is the master bedroom. Oh, very nice. Same painting, same shelf. Perfect placements. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I did reshuffle this a bit to put in built-in wardrobes. Didn't have those back in my day, so. No, and I removed the TV because you know how I feel about TVs and bedrooms. So well, we got rid of that. That's not a good choice. That's a bad choice to get rid of that. <laughs> and then this is the bathroom, which is 
Hmm. You know, it's nice. It's not my own personal taste. That's an interesting picture above the toilet. It's perfume. Is it? Yes. That was like potions That's and stuff the idea from Realm of Magic. Be interpreted as perfume. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Well, anyway, that's the renovation. Nah, it's really good. I mean, it's obviously a lot better than the original. <laughs> so. Well, the original is nice too. The original is a classic, but this is like a remastered edition. Remastered edition. I like that a lot. Um, yeah. So thank you so much for coming and taking a look. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. And oh, he's going to scoot on out of here. The rug is kind of stopping OK, uh, bye. Bye. Hope you guys have a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And we'll speak to you soon. Yeah, I'm just going to go fix my rug now. Unbelievable. Comes in here, ruins everything. Takes my chair away, now I'm stuck with this.